For the first time, women will serve on the Vatican body that proposes the selection of new bishops for the Pope's approval. Dr. Maria Lia Zedvino is one of them, and will also be the first laywoman to serve in the Vatican's dicastery for bishops. It's, it's logical that from in, in the process of uh, selecting uh, bishops, uh, the, the women must be from the beginning to the end, because we are part of the people of God. As president of the World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations, known as WUKU, the Argentinian represents some 8 to 10 million women from 100 Catholic organizations in more than 50 countries around the world. She says her role gives her a global perspective on Catholic women, which makes her input in the selection of bishops invaluable to the Pope. I think I can, I can bring the, the feelings of those women what they, 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 they dream for the bishops, what they need from the bishops. I know that Pope Francis wants to listen to Uku's woman. Dr. Zedvino will serve alongside two other women in the dicastery of bishops. While their nomination is a major step forward for the role of women in the institutional church, she views it as a benefit for the church as a whole. It's not something to to, to win some spaces of power for, for us women. No, it's something that we can serve, we can give the, the special skills of women in, in this service, but integrate it with the other uh, members of the dicastery. That's why we will benefit the whole church. After Pope Francis's historic move to include the voice of women in one of the Vatican's most central departments, Dr. Zedvino hopes the world's bishops will follow suit and appoint women to lead ministries in their home church communities. The new ministers that we need in the church as uh, the minister of listening, the minister, I don't know, of uh, health care, uh, ministers in which women are as able as men, sometimes could, could do it better also. And uh, lay women are to serve in all those cases all around the world. Beyond the dicastery, the Vatican's new apostolic constitution also specifies that members of the people of God from relevant dioceses will also engage in the process of selecting bishops in appropriate ways. Doctors, researchers, and historians help us decipher the most remembered crime in history. For the first time, we look at the mystery of the cross from a scientific perspective. The Passion of Jesus, a medical investigation.